Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of Equipped, the series where I share my preferred loadouts and playstyles for different operators. Hopefully you can find something that you can use to improve your game in Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are going to take a closer look at the attacking operator Hibana from the Japanese Special Attack Team or SAT. Hibana was added in the Red Crow expansion and really adds a new dimension and tactic as she, similar to Thermite, can break through reinforced walls. But before we dig further into that, let's take a look at her loadout. Hibana is a high speed, low armor operator with an X Kairos exothermic charge launcher, which she can use to open small or large holes in reinforced walls. She has the choice of two primary weapons, the Type 89 assault rifle and the Supernova pump action shotgun. The shotgun feels like a powerhouse, but at the same time it is slow and don't fit my playstyle, so I usually go with the Type 89. It sort of has a latency that shotgun compared to many other shotguns in my opinion, which also make it a bit tricky to use sometimes, as it feels like it fires a split second after you pull the trigger, but that's just my opinion. The Type 89 is easy to use and works great with the ACOG. I either equip it with the ACOG, Vertical Grip and Flash Hider for improved tap firing at range, or the Holo Sight, Angled Grip and Muscle Break if I'm going to be a bit more aggressive, but I'll get back to that. For the secondary, she can choose between the P229 handgun and the Bearing 9 submachine gun. The P229 is quite similar to the SAS P226, a low recoil sidearm with high damage at extremely close range. And the Bearing 9 can be treated just like the SMG 11, as it is a high rate of fire SMG, best at close to medium range. I go with this one because of the stopping power it has in close quarter combat, and as it feels like a better choice if you run out of ammo and can't risk to reload your primary. Hibana can equip either stun grenades or a claymore, and I always go with the claymore, as I feel it is great for covering your back and scoring free kills sometimes. When it comes to Hibana's x launcher, it fires 6 individual pellets in each shot and carries a total of 3 shots. After the pellets have attached to a wall, you can either blow them up right away or later just like with any other breaching charge. What's so cool about this one is that you can line up more shots next to the first one and blow them up all at once, or even shoot and destroy a couple of pellets with your gun if you for some reason want to make a smaller hole or a line instead of a boxed shaped hole. This was a good tactic together with Blackbeard, at least before the Blackbeard nerf, as you could make a line in perfect height for him to use in cover behind his shield, but since the Blackbeard nerf, who really uses him anymore? One really great thing with the x Kairos is that it can't be bandit tricked. Bandit's batteries must be in place before the pellets attach to the wall to stop Ibana from getting in. This is extremely useful in ranked games, as Bandit has an impossible mission if he's going to stop a team with the Thatcher, Thermite and Ibana working together. I haven't played Ibana much in ranked games yet because of how we're set up when we play, but when I do play her, I do it in two different ways, really dependent on map, objective and if Thermite has been able to do his job or not. Here is a great example of how she can be used to soften up the defenders inside an objective room, from a fairly safe distance. By opening a hole through this wall, I could open a kill hole into the objective room without having to expose myself by running out in the corridor with the risk of being killed from multiple directions. This is also great in places where you risk losing thermite to spawn peekers, like outside the boathouse on Canal for example. In these cases I equip an ACOG and play a more supportive role, peeking and sniping defenders hiding inside to lure back roamers into the arms of my teammates and to prepare for an easier push into the objective room. The other way I use her is a much more aggressive way, to open reinforced hatches for example here on Hereford Base or Presidential Plain or other maps where I want to be able to clear rooms and move faster. In those situations I prefer to use the holo sight setup with muscle break and angle foregrip, even if I for some reason didn't have that equipped in this clip. This more aggressive tactic is also great if you have a thermite that concentrates on opening other main breaching points, like garage doors or walls leading directly into the objective. So to sum this up, Hibana is a very powerful addition to the game as it changes how you can approach an objective as the attacking team. I either play a supportive role by opening up reinforced walls from a safe distance to try and soften up the defenders and lure back roamers back to the objective into the arms of my teammates. Or I play her more aggressively, clearing rooms and opening up hatches above the objective to get an additional entry point and make it harder for the defenders to know where to focus their attention. 
So that's about it for today, guys. What do you think about Hibana and what she brings to the game? Do you agree or disagree with the way I play an equipper? Perhaps you have some own ideas and tactics that works great for you. Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. And give me a thumbs up or down so I get to know what you think about this video and the series. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my future content. I will keep sharing more gameplay videos during the holidays, so stay tuned for that. On Sunday, it's Battlefield 1 day, and until then, I will keep being nicer. Hey, though.